What's up everyone, this is Ollie Talkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you all the new cool features in iOS 11.1 Beta 5. Let's get started. So Apple decided to trick everyone today and release iOS 11.1 Beta 5 rather than releasing the GM. So this is kind of odd and unusual because they actually just released a beta on Friday. So it's kind of off schedule. This is probably because the release of the iPhone X, they're probably not going to go on their usual schedule of coming out with these updates. But I have a few really cool things I want to mention in this video that I haven't really seen anywhere else on everyone else's videos. So yeah, I'm going to mention them right now. So the first thing I want to mention is night mode is actually getting more and more support over the new updates so what I mean by this is that if you go into settings general accessibilities and then go ahead and tap on display accommodations tap on smart invert what you'll notice is that Apple is actually slowly adding more and more support it's still incredibly laggy but you can see that there is a slight difference in performance when using it and also there is a slight difference in the glitches that you might see so there's one i found in the spotlight search so this is what it should look like in the spotlight search which is good apple actually fixed this glitch and this is what it looked like in the last beta you could see the background was all inverted and it looked very weird so i'm glad apple actually fixed this and addressed this issue in this beta there are also a few other glitches that i'm sure were fixed that i probably didn't notice so there are a few cool glitches that i like to see so for example you can see the control center got these really cool glowing green toggles because of my wallpaper because it actually inverts the wallpaper and puts it on these toggles. I'm sure that's not intentional, but I actually think it looks cool. So let me know in the comments below if you actually like the way that looks. But one of the cool glitches I found, it's kind of useless, but the apps at the bottom actually turn sort of like a darker shade of what they used to be on the dock just at random times. So I don't know what that is, but moving on, the next glitch I sort of found so if you guys remember that remove the dock glitch, you had to access the widget panel really fast and swipe back. And the way Apple actually fixed that was by adding a really bad stutter to the widget panel when swiping back and forth. So you can see I have an iPhone 5S to the right. You can see when I swipe back and forth, it's very fluid and smooth. Whereas on iOS 11.1 beta, it's very bad. And this is the same update that fixed the dock glitch. So I don't know what's up with that because it's kind of strange to see Apple hinder the performance of an iPhone just to remove a glitch that was harmless so this could be one of the last variations of the iOS 11.1 beta that we see because of the new release of the iPhone X. It should be coming soon. There is no given release date of when the GM will come out or the official version of iOS 11.1 because all these updates have been so unexpected. There's no way to really tell. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.